5G or the fifth generation is the next generation of technology in mobile broadband networks. Most smartphone players are launching devices which will support the next generation of 5G technology. But what opportunities will 5G hold for customers and telecom players? We have a policy address on enabling 5G use cases for India's digital roadmap. I would like to invite Shri K. Raja Raman, Secretary, Department of Telecommunications, to share his viewpoints. Welcome, Mr. Raja Raman. Honorable Ministers of the Government of India, distinguished dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. It is my pleasure to be part of the ET Telecoms 5G Congress Virtual Summit 2022. The 5G Congress 2022, a two-day event, is bringing the industry leaders and policy makers together to discuss the 5G roadmap, including current regulatory environment, policy decisions, and the device ecosystem. The vision of our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji is to leverage different technological solutions for development of the nation, ensuring the connectivity to unreached, far-flung, remote, and non-accessible areas. The government is implementing a variety of schemes, including ParatNet. Further, Department of Telecommunications, through the Universal Services Obligation Fund, has set its goals on expanding mobile coverage in rural and remote areas, especially in aspirational districts. A project to cover 1,294 villages in aspirational districts in 10 states is under implementation. All these measures will ensure digital, financial, economic, and social inclusion of rural citizens. With the aim to further boost the growth of the telecom industry, promote healthy competition, and enhance the penetration of broadband and digital services, the Government of India has recently announced path-breaking reforms for the telecom sector. These reforms include increase in spectrum tenure for from 20 to 30 years, no spectrum usage charge for spectrum acquired in future auctions, allowing 100% foreign direct investment through automatic route, and addressing the liquidity requirements of the telecom service providers. All these reforms are likely to better outlook the telecom industry in medium to long term. Minister for Communications, Honorable Shri Ashwini Vaishnavji, has directed the Department of Telecommunications to benchmark itself in the best in class in terms of the regulatory environment. We are therefore working on steps to reduce or eliminate unnecessary procedures, complicate compliance costs, regulatory burden for licensees, etc. The focus of the government on domestic technology has now borne fruit. The Center for Development of Telematics has developed a 4G core whose testing is at the final stages and in joint uh, collaboration with the Tata Consultancy Services for making the core as well as the radio access networks for the Indian 5G, uh, 4G implementation. The 5G testbed with funding of rupees 224 crores by Department of Telecommunication comprising of eight institutions, including IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Hyderabad, Institute of Science Bangalore, IIT Bombay, and uh, Samir, have successfully tested and developed a 5G stack that can be used by local industry and startups. In December 2021, the cabinet approved a program for development of semiconductors and display manufacturing ecosystem in India, with incentives of nearly rupees 2 lakh 30,000 crores, to position India as a global hub for electronics manufacturing with semiconductors as a foundational building block. Attractive incentive support to companies and consortia that are engaged in silicon semiconductor fabs, display fabs, compound semiconductors, silicon photonics, sensors, semiconductor packaging, semiconductor design have been provided. This is expected to boost the design and fabrication of 5G manufacturing within the country by supporting development of system on chips, radio frequency chips, etc which are part of the radio access networks. The union budget for 2023 has provided a special impetus to telecom sector through allocation of 5% of annual collections under the Universal Services Obligation Fund to promote research and development and commercialization of technologies and solutions in order to enable affordable broadband and mobile services in rural and remote areas. We expect to operationalize the scheme in, in this current financial year and this would lead to focus on Indian design and manufacturing of telecom equipment with focus on rural and remote areas. There is also a need to develop intellectual property based out of India if we are to meet India's economic and cybersecurity needs in the, this digital age. The DOTS 5G hackathon has triggered the use of use case development ecosystem to reap the benefits of 5G technologies and enable 
close working with startups. It has been announced in the budget that a scheme for design-led manufacturing will be launched to build a strong ecosystem for 5G as part of the production link incentive scheme. The department is working towards building an Indian 5G stack and an Indian set of 5G champions. Uh, department of Telecommunication has mapped the ongoing 5G technology and use case development activities in the country and is enabling continuous collaboration among the stakeholders. An interministerial committee is actively working with several ministries, including agriculture, urban development, power, etc., on developing and testing 5G use cases. Small cell de deployment is going to be a key area in intensification of 5G networks. DOT is working with stakeholders, including state governments, for right-of-way facilitation in accessing street furniture for the telecom service providers. Honorable Finance Minister has announced in the budget for 22-23 that required spectrum auctions will be conducted in 2022 to facilitate rollout of 5G mobile services within this the, the coming financial year by private telecom service providers. As far as requirement of spectrum for rollout of 5G services are concerned, Department of Telecommunications has identified additional spectrum and has sought recommendations of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. We hope to kickstart the process of spectrum auctions as soon as we receive the recommendations on try. 5G networks are the foundation of so-called new technologies that are going to transform our work as well as society once the networks are rolled out in our country. But security of 5G systems will be a challenge that needs to be addressed. Thorough risk assessments to identify threats and vulnerabilities to mitigate cyber threats are essential, not just to achieve resilience from technological perspective, but the consequences of foreign ownership, control, or direct investment also need to be factored in. The Department of Telecommunication has set up the National Center for uh, Communication Security, which is working on Indian Telecom Security Assurance Standards for security testing of equipment. We also have set up a technology innovation group on 6G task forces on advanced optical communications, machine to machine communications and quantum communications to bring in expertise from both academy and industry, setting the stage for driving technology engagement in next generation technologies. We intend to aid, assist and accelerate the development of Indian intellectual property. With this, I would wish to congratulate Economic Times for organizing this 5G Congress virtual summit and wish the Congress all success. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, Mr. Rajaraman, for sharing all the valuable information on 5G use cases for India's digital roadmap. Now we'll move on to the next session. Stay tuned and keep tweeting using the hashtag 5G Congress.